Fujifilm X106 and the Ricoh GR3X. These two are the most popular cameras on the market if you're looking for a fixed lens compact mirrorless for all around everyday use. And I'll be the first one to tell you that there's more to in camera than just the image quality alone. I'm still sure you're wondering which one produces better images. Well, in this video, we're gonna put this to the test. I'm gonna show you 24 randomized images, 12 from the Ricoh GR3X and 12 from the Fujifilm X106. And it's your job to guess which camera took each photo. And to try to keep things as fair and scientific as possible, the images shot on the Fuji X106 were straight out of camera JPEGs taken using my Reggie's Portra film simulation recipe. And the images shot on the Ricoh GR3X were straight out of camera JPEGs JPEGs taken using my equivalent recipe for Ricoh, Reggie's color negative. And both cameras had the same filter on, a Moment to the Loom 10% filter. And I really tried my best to keep the compositions and the exposure settings and the aperture the same across all the images. So if you're ready, get out a pen and a paper or open up a note on your phone and number it from 1 through 24 so that you can keep track of your guesses. After, I'm going to reveal the answers and share a few insights for those who are still trying to decide between these two cameras. Before I reveal the answers, I wanted to thank today's video sponsor, Squarespace. I've actually been using Squarespace for over 10 years now. Their templates and easy to use interface make it incredibly simple to create and maintain a professional looking website without any coding experience necessary. My Squarespace website was an essential part of how I built my photography business. It allows me to showcase my best work on my portfolio, as well as share recent work on my blog, and ultimately be able to receive inquiries from potential clients through my contact form. If you're one of those photographers, relying on your Instagram profile as the sole place to share your work and build your photography business, I would really consider making a website on Squarespace. You can visit squarespace.com slash to start a free trial and get 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Thanks again to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. <music>
So I'm curious, how did you do? Tally everything up and share how many you got right down in the comments below and don't cheat. So for full context, I actually own both of these cameras, but I am not sponsored by either Rico or Fujifilm. So for me, how do I choose which one I'm gonna shoot with on a particular day? Usually it depends on my mood that day, or sometimes it's based on where I'm going or what actually I'm going to shoot, whether it's a day trip, some portraits, or just going out without any plans at all. For the days that I want the most compact, the most stealth and subtle option, it's gonna be the Ricoh GR3X because this camera is the only one that's actually truly pocketable even with skinny jeans. The lens is really sharp and for both daytime and nighttime scenes, while you might not think so, the 2.8 aperture is actually more than enough, especially combined with the in-body image stabilization of the camera. If you're someone who likes shooting in auto or aperture priority, this is actually the quickest operation camera that I have from being able to take it out of your pocket to framing to exposing and snapping the photo. It's very, very quick. The one caveat though is it does struggle in low light autofocus a little bit, especially in comparison to the Fujifilm X106. A few other things that it doesn't have is it doesn't have a built-in flash. Honestly, the video function, I just pretend it doesn't exist because it's really unusable. So when it comes to availability and price though, the Ricoh GR3X is significantly cheaper than the Fujifilm X106 and you don't have to wait in a huge pre-order list or go through the used market and deal with a huge markup. I will say though because of these YouTube videos and other YouTube videos from other creators the GR3X and the GR3 have been kind of going up in price a little bit so I'm sorry for that. <laughs> So on the other hand, the Fujifilm X106. For the days that I'm okay with slinging a camera around my neck or on my shoulder, or I have another bag that I can put it in, like a larger camera bag or a fanny pack or a backpack, the Fujifilm X106 offers a lot more functionality and flexibility in terms of shooting style and what I'm able to shoot. You have the options to shoot with the viewfinder, whether it be the electronic or the optical viewfinder, and you also can use a tilting LCD screen, which the Ricoh gr 3 does not have. So if you're somebody who takes a lot of low angle or high angle shots like me, this will make that a lot easier than having to guess when you're holding up your camera high and low. You also have the option for a more deliberate and kind of like tactile shooting experience with the dedicated exposure dials. That's not to say that you can't be intentional with the Ricoh because when I shoot with the Ricoh and I want to be intentional, I can do that and I made some of my best work with that camera. So it really comes down to mindset, but I think if you're one of those people who let the camera control really dictate your mindset, the X106 has more of that analog experience. A few other things to rattle off is if you like shallower depth of field, um, if you want a built-in flash, or you want to experiment with video. The video on the X106 is super high quality, so the X106, but when it comes to film simulations, film simulation recipes, and just the overall image quality of the photos, I think this video shows that it's pretty dang close, and many times I actually prefer prefer the Ricoh's look. But without seeing the images side by side, you probably couldn't even tell. My best recommendation is for you to try and test out each camera, either in a store or rent it out, or if you have a friend close by who can let you try it out. Think about how you like how they operate and which one fits your ideal shooting style. With these types of cameras, they're all good and they're all very capable of taking amazing images. If you just end up not liking one, it's because one, either you're not inspired by the actual operational style of the camera or the more likely reason is because you're not bringing your skills, your eye, and your experience as a photographer to the table, which you can always kind of level that up with practice. And with that, my name is Reggie Ballesteros. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you loved it, please subscribe for more Fujifilm and Rico content. And if you wanna see my go-to film simulation recipes for both Fujifilm and Rico, check out these two videos over here.